Hi everybody. So today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about home water birth and what it is and the cost and if it's better than having a hospital water birth, risk, all that kind of good stuff. And before we begin, I just want to say um, I am not pregnant. I have never been pregnant. Don't plan on becoming pregnant. So I don't have necessarily firsthand experience when it comes to uh, water birth particularly at home, but I do want to kind of inform you guys on the information that I have found because in the future when I do want to have kids, I would like to have a home water birth. And maybe after this whole presentation, you guys will kind of maybe see why and maybe we'll want to learn more about it yourself or maybe we'll try it out at home. So let's start off with what a home water birth is actually is. So according to WebMD, a home water birth is basically referring to the fact that some part of the labor and delivery occurs at home in the water through the assistance of a bathtub or birth pool. Okay, that seems pretty simple. Not exactly. There is a lot more research that goes into a home water birth than most people know. One thing has to do with the supplies you need, which are typically divided into two categories, general and medical. So when it comes to supplies that you need, you can go as minimal as you feel to get just what is necessary, or you can go all out to make the whole experience even more enjoyable and elaborate. In general, the supplies that you need for a home water birth are as follows. A birth pool, a, or even a bathtub, although I would probably go with a birth pool because it probably would be a lot more comfortable than sitting in like stone. A liner for inside the birth pool and under it as well. Obviously, if you're going to be using your actual bathtub, you wouldn't be able to fit a liner underneath it, but towels around the surface would work just as well. A fishnet, a thermometer, um, a, a pump, electric or manual, although most people will tend to go with an electric because it just speeds up the whole process. Um, the fishnet is normally used to scoop up any debris that may show up in the water. Yes, it happens. It's all normal. Towels and lots of them, not brand new ones either because a lot of times they're going to get stained throughout the process, so you don't want to really ruin brand new towels. But again, to consult with your midwife or your medical professional for any further questions that you may have. And now let's go into the medical supplies. So most of the medical supplies uh, will tend to vary depending on which professional you talk to. Most midwives will tend to have a uh, medical supply kit that you uh, kind of have to purchase with them. But again, there are some that will kind of allow you some flexibility. But based on the research that I have, some mandatory things that most professionals recommend that you have are things such as medical scissors, which will normally be used to cut the umbilical cord after the baby is born. It can also be used to cut the space between the vagina and the uh, anus in case uh, the baby is stuck to kind of leave way to help the baby come through and also to prevent from tearing, so making the recovery a lot easier. There's also going to be clamps, which can be used to help section off the baby's umbilical um, cord I wish to cut. A uh, silicone nose uh, and mouth pump, which is known to clear out the airways since the baby's airways will be uh, filled once the baby is delivered because the baby was in, you know, in the womb for nine months, so it's not really used to breathing out of its, his or her uh, nose or mouth. Uh, forceps in order to help with delivery in case the baby gets stuck. Shots, oxygen maps, which are to help with pain is like a drug-free alternative rather than getting an epidural, which I don't know about you guys, but getting a shot on my back, I'm not too keen on doing that myself. Um, but that's just the general supplies. But again, there are a lot more supplies that a lot of other medical professionals will say you need. But again, for the most part, that's general rule uh, how much you're actually going to need. So now that you kind of know about what it is, and what you're going to need, how much is a home water birth actually going to cost you? Uh, there are many factors that will add to the cost of home water birth, but typically, according to Daily Beast, a home, home water birth can run up to $3,000, which is normally just a cost for the midwife. Everything else that you will need for a water birth, like I mentioned earlier, you have to purchase out of pocket. Sometimes some midwives will include uh, kits for you, um, which I would highly recommend if you only really plan on having one child. But if you do plan on having multiple children, I highly recommend just buying everything so you have it. So when it comes time for you to need them again, you already have them. Which then brings me into exactly how much it will cost for a hospital birth. Now a hospital birth, depending on you know the room fees, the doctor fees, all that kind of stuff, can run you around $10,000. So already just right off the bat, that's already like around a third of the price of a hospital water birth. 
Now, if you add in the cost of the accessories, as I mentioned before, for a home order birth, the birth pool, which can typically run about $100 to $400, depending on if you get it on sale or not, and the type of material, the hose, the hose attachment, which are uh, used to fill up the birth pool, the pump, the liners, the fishnet, the thermometer, which individually can be a little bit more money than if you actually buy them in a kit, which normally can run around $100 to $200 which then brings the whole grand total up to $3,600. So a home order birth is more than half the price cheaper than a hospital order birth. But like anything, anything that sounds to be too good to be true, there are also the disadvantages. So uh, WebMD also claims that home order birth allows to help with pain during the first stage of labor, keeping you from needing medical any uh, pain medicine, any medical assistance, and that's something that all moms want, a rapid labor. An article in Women's Health and Birth Center by Pat Jones, who is a CNM, she mentions that you're also able to control the result in being your own home. You don't have to have people constantly coming in and out of your room, and you are allowed to really enjoy the process. Like mentioned before, the cost compared to the hospital is a lot lower. However, on the flip side, there are also things to be aware of. If your baby is breached, if you are pregnant with multiple children, if you have low or high blood pressure, if you're over 35, if you have any health issues, anything like that, it may be hard to have a baby at home because it's going to be a little harder to monitor how the baby's doing, what the baby's uh, heart rate, blood pressure, all that kind of stuff. So sometimes in that event, they most doctors will recommend that the woman goes to a high risk center so that she can get the medical help that she needs just in the event of something going wrong, uh, just to just kind of be prepared for that. Although, uh, for the most part, uh, if you do decide to have a midwife or a doula there, because there are some women who do decide to do this completely unassisted, but a lot of times if you have a midwife or a doula, they will normally have everything that that they need to help you no matter the circumstance. So if something goes wrong, they will be well equipped to fix it. Now, with all this information, the cost, the disadvantages, what it actually is, is it actually really worth it in the end? Well, the answer, it really depends on the person. If you were to go on YouTube and watch videos about moms who have had home water births, they, a lot of them will say that it, it was the best thing ever, uh, they were actually really able to understand what their body was going through, really enjoy the labor, control their breathing, which is another technique that they uh, a lot of midwives will have mothers do uh, by controlling their breathing, kind of helps them with the pain and everything like that. And plus, they got to be able to control everything. They didn't have to worry about being pressured into doing anything. It was very chill and laid back. But at the end of the day, it's really up to your call. If you want to do a hospital birth, then by all means, go right ahead you know, it is, you know, your body, so you should do with it what you will, and only you are going to know best what you can handle and what's safe for you. And at the end of the day, as long as whatever you are doing is safe for you and your baby, or babies if you have multiple, that's really all that matters. Um, however, though, if you're someone who wants to save some money, who wants to have control over your delivery and labor, you want to be home, you want to, you know, be able to really enjoy the whole process and really understand what your body is going through without having to be numb most of the time or having somebody cut you open and putting your insides out on a table, then maybe the home water birth is for you. Um, that's something that I definitely want to do. I want to be able to have control over my birth unless it is, again, for a health reason where either my health is jeopardized or my baby's health is jeopardized or both. I don't want to have to use a hospital. And I love how there's a lot of different options. And again, if you're someone who doesn't really want to have a hospital birth, but again, also doesn't want to have a home order birth, there are also a lot of places that have birthing centers to where you'll be like in a hospital setting, but you'll be in a nice comfy home, uh, like room that you can have the baby in the in the water or on a bed or whatever. So that's also another uh, good option to do as well. And that's something I would definitely look into as well over at the hospital. So thank you guys all for listening. I hope I informed you guys on some information on home water birth and I will maybe talk to you guys later or not. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.